你好，你好，主人，有什么需要我帮助的吗？ In this new age and day of technology, we can say that even though it is still seen as a weird practice, we half expected to witness the first legal marriage between a man and a robot. Well, that still has not happened, but we have learned about the story of the engineer Zheng Jiajia, who made a vow to stay committed to a robot he created named Ying Ying. That was in 2017, and several news agencies have covered the interesting story since then. Jia Jia and Ying Ying's love story did not stand as a, the only cyborg relationship that existed. For this video, we are going to share with you details about robot wives throughout recent history. Why don't we say hello to this new robot wife that you'd most probably find interesting? But before we start, for everyone who's new to our channel, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Why do men fall for robots? It's quick to dismiss people who marry robots as clinically insane, but there's still something more going on around here. Sources have mentioned that there's a whole community of robosexuals who have given up on human love in favor of building love with robots made out of silicone and computer chips. At the center of nearly every one of their stories is painful misery. Although most folks aren't prepared to head down that path, this could be a warning sign of the side effects brought about by contemporary lifestyle at its most severe. Our friendships are increasingly played out on computers rather than in person, and some believe this is contributing to an epidemic of loneliness and a shift in the definition of what a partnership is. Japan has been impacted the hardest. One third of those under the age of 30 have never gone on a single date. While a quarter of men say they are no longer romantically interested in women, individuals aren't only bailing out of romance in Japan. Marriage rates in the U.S. are at an all-time low, and some believe that all the lonely people left behind will lead to more stories such as that of Jia Jia. That's a bummer. As expected, experts have developed several solutions to mitigate this concern, which led to a new age of technology in the modern future: the rising production of robot wives. As recalled. Ricky Ma put fifty thousand dollars and eighteen months of effort into creating an uncanny, realistic conversational robot that resembles Scarlett Johansson. Surely that's a huge amount of work for a peculiar kink, but it doesn't appear that Ma did it simply for fun. Ma is searching for investments since he believes he will be able to market these items. Supporting this business endeavor, David Levy believes it will be legal to marry robots by 2050. He claims that homosexual marriage was unthinkable 35 years ago, but as it got more prevalent, our perspective shifted. He believes the same thing will happen with robots. Even if most people would not marry robots, Professor Adrian Choke believes that falling in love with a robot will become as common as watching pornography on the internet. This assumption might lead the world right toward that path, since as early as the previous decades. Several inventors have created robots specifically crafted and designed to be their obedient and loving wives. Here are a few examples before we introduce to you the newest robot wife ever created. One, Ying Ying. You have already known about Ying Ying and how he was partnered up with her own inventor in 2017. However, there is a lot you have not yet known about the history of the creator's love and personal life. After being dumped by the lady he believed he was going to marry, Zheng Jia Jia made plans of creating Ying Ying. His parents, as he claimed, continued pressuring him to marry so he could start a life and build his own legacy. Because he couldn't discover one in the actual world, he did the least we would have imagined doing. He constructed his own wife himself. A robotics engineer can always improve his robot wife, adding functions as needed. So an ineptness or lack of communication capabilities will never be an issue. In fact, Zheng is already working on improving his robotic wife's ability to walk and perform simple but tedious home duties. As reported, Zheng and his robot bride were married in a small ceremony attended by Zheng, his mom, and a few acquaintances. Although the couple was not legally married, Zheng still treat Ying Ying as his wedded wife. Two Hatsune Miku. Tokyo's Akihiko Kondo has married his Gatebox virtual robot. The Gatebox virtual robot was created as a companion for those who don't want to date but don't want to be alone. Gatebox can text Kondo while he's at work, switch on lights when he gets home, brush her teeth with him, converse with her, and more. Hatsune Miku was Kondo's hologram's name. Miku is a 16-year-old female vocalist hologram. In front of 40 guests, Kondo and Miku married in early November. Kondo's family did not attend the wedding. The ceremony and matching wedding rings cost Kondo two million yen, 
or at least $17,600. Despite the fact that the Japanese government does not recognize their marriage as a valid union, Gatebox supplied the pair with a cross-dimension marriage certificate. Kondo isn't the only one who received one, as Gatebox claimed to have issued 3,700 cross-dimension marriage certificates since its production. 3. Aiko Since 2007, a scientist named Lee Trung has been working on crafting a robot in his basement, which he has financed using credit cards and his whole life savings. He may come to regret it in these credit-strapped times, but at least he's not alone because he's got his own company. Meet Aiko this living doll's skin is made of silicone, and it is the first android to imitate pain and respond to it according to its designer. He has also claimed that this innovation can be advantageous for those who have endured amputations. This is the first leap toward a lifelike artificial limb that has the capability to detect physical feelings. It seems like Trung may be advancing the science of amputation, aside from making a company for himself. The robot wasn't deemed to be designed for sex, but with a few adjustments, it can supposedly transform into a full-fledged sex toy that can even imitate climactic female orgasm. Technology has really come a long way. Now, without further ado, let us say hello to this new robot wife from Australia. Meet Emma. When a guy called Jeff Gallagher from Queensland, Australia, lost all hope of finding a caring lady, he commissioned a robot to form a bond with him and spend quality time with him. After his mother died many years ago, he spent the majority of his life with Penny, his favorite dog. One day, he stumbled across an article discussing artificial intelligence robots. After a few moments of thinking, he decided to give it a try. What could go wrong, right? Emma, the fembot Jeff purchased, had blue eyes like humans and wheat-colored skin. Her head can be assembled and she is wearing a white dress. In September of 2019, the robot joined Jeff as a partner. Emma has the ability to converse. Jeff regularly drives her out in his car, despite the robot's inability to stand alone. Her speech is controlled by a smartphone-like screen in Emma's brain. Emma is AI-powered and gets smarter by the day. According to Jeff, in the previous two years, the humanoid robot has become a vital part of his life. He and Emma have a special bond, and she never leaves his side. When asked about his decision, Jeff stated, I didn't know how I would afford a robot like Emma, but then the business owner offered me a discount in return for publicity. It sounded like a great deal. He regards Emma, who sports a ring on her finger, as his wife, which is not that surprising. This is despite the fact that they are not married on legal terms. Jeff aspires to be the first Australian to be wed to a robot. He hopes that by sharing his tale, others may be motivated to have their own robotic partners too. Technology marriages do not appear to be going anywhere for a while. There are many concerns that may be posed about this phenomena, but for the time being, we will have to wait and watch how it unfolds. Did you find this video interesting? Would you consider having a relationship or even entering into a marriage with a robot in the future? We want to get to know more of your thoughts. Share them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to keep in touch with our channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Goodbye.